Well, we know his strengths. We know his le weakness. I mean, look at his resilience. It's next to nothing. Looks like my strongest weapon against him is going to be... Urk. Yes, Urk will be my choice. All I need to do is close in and fire. <laughs> Where is your armor now, Yogi? Where is your armor now? Oh, I'd better make sure Nils get him. Yeah. Now then. Will the ballista hit? Will it do him in? Yeah! Oh, Lundgarten, I failed you. I pray you hurry for those reinforcements you prob- <laughs> Pull the stuff for the win. I wish I could keep it, but it's too heavy and it's too slow to move with us. Is it over? Yes, I see no more enemy soldiers. However, something is bothering me. What is it? I noticed that during the fighting, our opponents, they were soldiers of Kaelin. I even recognized some of those we fought. I trained with many of them. And yet they attacked us without hesitation. They are black-hearted traitors who joined Lord Lundgren. Good riddance, I say. It also means less resistance at the castle. I hope you're right. I'm just glad Nils and Ninian were with us. If that first shot had hit me, I might not have survived. We are honored to have served you well. We won't let you down. I know. I'm relying on you. What's this? He dealt with Evelista too? Nicely done. Matthew, where were you during all this? Uh, I went off to the village to sniff around for information. Uh, I got some interesting news for my trouble, too. Let's hear it. First, about Marquis Kalen's illness. He really is unwell. He's been abed for nigh on three months. Oh no, Grandfather. I heard an interesting rumor about his condition, though. That people believe that someone's been poisoning the Marquis. He's being poisoned? And this someone, well, everyone's too afraid to mention a name. However, they say that as soon as the Marquis took ill, a certain noble took control of the castle as though it were his own. I fed a hungry innkeeper some coin, and he fed me a name. The Marquis of Kaelin's own brother, Lord Lundgren. How can this be? How can they allow him to get away with this? The villagers know he's the one poisoning my grandfather, and yet no one raises a hand against him? Why? They are too afraid, and they lack proof. The whisperings of the common people mean nothing. That's the truth of it. And the Marquis's loyal retainers who have lost... Who have lent credence to these rumors, there is no sign. Are you saying they've been silenced? It's a fair assumption. This is beyond believing. The worst news is yet to come. What? There's more! The imposter's appearance, claiming to be a Marquis's granddaughter. At least that's a story Lundgren's telling to all who will listen. What does that mean? It means that people who are waiting for two traitorous knights and a baseborn child to appear and lay claim to Castle Kalen. But, but, that can't be! Traitors. Us. Ridiculous. He says I'm an imposter? Uh, don't you have anything that proves your lineage? When my mother joined the Lorca, she brought nothing of Lycia with her. Milady, Marquis Afrin himself remarked any resemblance to Lady Madeline. Your face is your proof. They'll say we found a lookalike somewhere. We've seen as betrayers of our knightly vows. Our word means nothing. No, our only hope is to see Marquis Kalen himself. We must hurry, if not my grandfather. I must see him with my last breath if need be. But, uh, we must formulate some kind of manner of plan. I mean, even if we set off for the castle, the troops patrolling the area will cause no end of our problems. You have been branded as an Oathbreakers, after all, so, uh... I've got it! Hellwood! He seems sympathetic to our plight. He should still be in Catholic. We can talk to him, he might help us! 
Of course, a sound idea. Let's hurry! Yes, back to the Catholic. What, we're going back? Come on, guys, it's not that far. Uh, note to self, my companions are fools. Lynn and her friends have been branded as traitors, pretenders to the throne. Lundgren has sent word to Kalen's neighbors, warning them of Lynn's approach. He calls for reinforcements to put the end to these imposters. If the other realms of Lycia chose to act, Lynn will never reach Kalen alive. Lynn places her faith in Ellerwood and waits. Chapter 9, A Grim Reunion I've received word from Kaelin's neighbors. Laos, Tuscana, Catholic, Tanya, and Santa Rose. They will not interfere in Kaelin's affairs. They have promised. Hello, and I don't know how to thank you. All I've done is convince him to remain neutral in this dispute. However, this means I cannot aid you in any way, either. Will you be alright? I will win. I have to. It's the only way I can help my grandfather. I understand. Although I cannot help you directly as a friend, I do pray for your success. Thank you. I won't waste the opportunity you've given me. Alright everyone, let's get going. This weather is turning foul! It looks like a fog is rolling in! This is no good. If the fog thickens, we'll be blind in battle. It will be difficult to fight when we cannot see. Even worse, my scrying orb, it can't see through all this fog. We can't let it delay us, though. We'll press on. We must get closer to the castle. What is the best route? Let me think. Our best path is to the south. However, that runs through General e Eagler's estate. It looks like we still have one final obstacle to pass. Huh. Eagler, huh? Well... After that long battle that we had just finished, it feels like Florina could use a bit of a rest. So, I'll be using everybody here. And our current formation looks like it's good. Yeah. Bolt, please, put me in the lead. Please. What? Why? Surely you know that we, uh, thieves, if you must, can see through the fog. What you can? Follow me, everyone. Whoa, that's a fantastic idea. I will put him in the lead. So you've come. What? Who are you? Ah! You. You're, you're Lord Wallace. Kent, who is this? He used to be a commander of the Knights of Caelan. Are you supposed to be retired? I heard you were sowing the fields now. I am, and I was. However, then I received orders from Lord Lundgren. I was told to capture an imposter and a pair of rogue knights. Lord Wallace, surely you don't believe us to be Oathbreakers, do you? Bring me the girl that claims to be Lady Madeline's child. What are your intentions? If I don't like what I see, I will take her. We will prevent you. You? Prevent me? You must be. Enough! I'm right here. I am Lindis. Ah. Oh. I understand if you don't believe me. But I've had enough of you and your foolish p pestering. Hmm. Such beautiful eyes. Pardon? I've been a knight for thirty years, and there is one thing I've learned. A person whose eyes are as bright and true as yours is no deceiver. <laughs> ah, yes. I like you, girl. Why, I believe I'll even join your little band of mercenaries. Are you... are you serious? This is old bulls pledged his loyalty to Kaelin. I would never allow an usurper on the throne. Let's march! Lord Wallace, he... he hasn't changed at all. I like him. He's... honest. Well, that's one way of putting it. That he is. He deserves our respect. Respect, eh? Well, let's see why. Oh, he's love. Whoa! His power is incredible! Eh... Uh, man... Makes me feel guilty, kinda... just... Eh... Uh, ah, well, I'll move him down here. How far can this guy go? Oh, he can just cross that bridge, huh? Well, I'll position myself here... and here. That way I can take him by surprise as soon as he comes close. Eh... Uh, 
Now, what else should I do? 